today we have a new little device that's going to make doing chain maintenance very nice. It's even smaller than the last one I talked about. And um, I've played with it a little bit. It's a little tricky. If you have a look and see, you'll see no cases. I'm traveling very light. Only my tank bag. It's been a little while since I posted a video. We were just on a family road trip in the car. Out to the mountains in BC. So I was surprised my little tagger started up right away. So nice. Because as uh, you may know, some people are noticing um, that the tagger doesn't want to always start. It just cranks. My dealer was mentioning just starting, just turning it off and trying again. Not touching the throttle like I was uh, telling you guys about the tagger. And I've done that. And um, it's almost, so now my bike has sat for an entire week, not driving at, driving at all. And I went to start it and it cranked, I don't know, it cranked three times, so kind of, and then it, it started without the second try. So I, I'm thinking this uh, whole business of blipping the throttle while you're trying to get the tagger to start is uh, just enforcing something that's gone wrong in the um, the bike um, kind of the bike self adapting and so uh, just trying to start it don't even let it crank just try it what do you think nope didn't go and you don't even have to turn off the key just let go of the starter button and then for you know like 10 seconds later try again and sure enough it starts and so now, like I said, today, after that big, long break of nobody riding it, plus it's cold, it's like 12 degrees here, and it started no problem. So that's pretty neat. Because a lot of people said their bikes did it right away, and mine didn't do it for a long time, and then it started doing it. And I was going, oh, that's what everybody has been talking about. Anyway, we're going to go into town, find a place to try out this little thing, this little device to help you do chain maintenance. So anyway, before it gets too noisy and my recording gets wrecked, I want to thank you for step stopping. I want to thank you for coming by to check out this video and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I waited till we got into town because I know my audio doesn't sound good on the highway. So hopefully we have a little bit of light left to test this little device. And so this is commonly, seems to be commonly called a Snapjack. And it's so light and so small, it fits in a little cloth bag in my... Um, tank bag yeah so that's the thing when you're going on a trip right and you don't have a center stand now there are, I have seen there is actually a center stand you can get but if this uh, little thing works then why drag the weight of a center stand right unless you're gonna be trying to change wheels on the road and stuff <laughs> tires and like, that'd be another story but if you just want to get the tire off the ground just enough so that you can do that chain maintenance, this little jack is a great option. And uh, when I went to Thunder Bay, I brought that uh, growler, growler, whatever we call it, along with me and it worked pretty good. You had to pull 
fairly hard on the wheel to overcome all the resistance. So the beauty of this little gadget is that it actually, mind you, only a little ways, but it lifts the wheel off the ground. So the wheel's uh, going to turn a lot easier. And plus the weight. This is a fraction of the weight of the growler. Okay, so I think um, <clears throat> we're going to attempt to do this on some asphalt somewhere. Might work in the gravel, but we might fight less on some pavement. So I was picking this little parking lot here to try it out. Hopefully not too busy. One of the things I noticed people have said is that the bike wants to slide, so they park the bike so that the um, kickstand, we're going to see if we can do it without doing that, but so the kickstand is up against the curb. So let's see how we do. Okay, so if you guys have been waiting for this, here it is. Here is the little Dewey. That's all it is. Nice little uh, felt bag, velvety bag, and this is the, uh, that's the thing. So let's give it a try. Squeeze the brake in, pull the Velcro, bring it around so it's sticking. See the Velcro holds the brake lever in. Bob's your uncle. I like to put a glove on just because I would never want to get my finger pinched in there. But, so we just give it kind of a twisty motion. And it pops out very nicely. So you just push and position this fairly close to the tire. Take a couple tries. You can adjust how long it is there. And get that fairly close to the tire. If it's too close, it'll rub on the tire and then give a twisting motion on here keeping your hands clear of any pinch points and there we go this time i have it a little bit closer to the wheel but it's no problem take your off move it out a bit reposition try it again i'm twisting and you'll see my hand kind of gets close to the brake well, that time we were not high enough. So for a little micro adjustment, you can just move back and forth on the swing arm, at least on the tagger, to get it just a little bit longer without readjusting it. There, see? Now I'm rubbing. <laughs> So you can see that works pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. You can see my hand gets close there. And you might just give it another crank. Just get a little bit more left. I'm fighting too much with that part. I want to make sure this is really vertical. Yeah, you want to make sure that this is vertical. So you don't push the bike forward or backwards. There you can see, <clears throat> we can rotate the wheel fairly well. The only disadvantage, the only disadvantage is you can see the bike is leaning towards me. So that means I have to kind of work under the bike a little bit, but um, it's, it's very doable. All we want to do is put a little bit of cleaning and lubricating on the chain. This angle. Tire is just off the ground. 
Looks like I could actually clean my chain. Yeah, so for the record, for the record, the first time I did it, I didn't even have the brake on, but it's probably a good idea. So thanks for watching this video. Please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And um, wait till we have the next video we can post for you. Thanks for watching. So there you can see we have the Snapjack. You want to do some roadside maintenance on your bike. Super light, super fast to use.